Hi everyone, I'm so back with another flip through and this is of Mykonos. Um, so we went to Mykonos in September 23 and um, I'm just so proud of myself for getting through these scrapbooks. Um, it's just so nice to have time to myself and not be planning a big event. Um, um, so I'm just, yeah, I'm really enjoying my time after work and, you know, doing all these scrapbooks and just ticking them off really. It's just really fun to live back to these memories and go through the photos and all our bits and pieces and get through them really because I don't want them sat in the bags and just waiting on the shelf to be scrapbooked. I want them out in albums so I can flip through them. So yeah, I'm really happy with how my progress is going. Um, so are we moving on to my Tinos album, which, um, so we went to Mykonos for five nights, but we did actually do a day trip to Tinos. Um, so I'll do that in a separate book because it is its own island. And um, yeah, I just, it's nice to have them separate. Plus this album is very chunky, so I don't think I'll be able to get anything else in here. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed A4. I um, I found that everything looks a bit more condensed and like sort of more scrapbooky, whereas sometimes the 12 by 12s, unless you've got so much stuff, sometimes it can look a little bit empty and you're sort of scrapping for things to put in. Um, so I really liked A4. Um, I just need to find ones with better rings because this was only from Amazon, uh, but the rings are obviously very small and I did take loads of fake pages out, so it wouldn't have held much more, to be honest. But um, I'm probably going to get a ribbon, I think, to tie around just to keep it um, a bit more closed. Um, but yeah, I actually did my cover. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else with it. I'm quite happy with it being quite basic, really, um, just with Mykonos written down the side. Um, but yeah. So we went to Mykonos, as I said, in September last year, and um, I always collect a postcard from uh, like a map postcard and I managed to find one, which was really cool. So um, this was just some leftover papers and bits and pieces and I put that one there. So we flew out from Manchester and we actually flew back into Gatwick because it was cheaper. Um, and we didn't originally have a hotel book to stay overnight because our flight was at like three o'clock in the afternoon. So we didn't really need a hotel. Uh, but there was engineering works and there was one train that was going to get us in um, in time and if that train got cancelled we would have been a bit stuck for a lift so we decided last minute to book the Radisson because it was actually quite reasonably priced um, and I'm so glad we did because the next morning on the day of our flight I checked the trains and the train had been cancelled <laughs> so we would have been panicking a little bit so I felt a little bit smug um, having booked a hotel um, last minute so yes yeah, so we said the Radisson and said it was reasonably priced for that um, room because we actually got this really cool runway view which was really nice um, and we flew with EasyJet. So yeah we flew on the 17th of September so nearly a year ago today um, and our, yeah, as our flight was um, quarter past three in the afternoon this was just us on the flight um, and then this was Mykonos Airport. It's all very sleek and modern. Um, Greece for the Greek islands that I've been to the, it's been very um, rustic and sort of quiet and um just a bit sort of quaint whereas Mykonos is quite um it's quite an expensive island um so everything's a bit more modern a bit more sleek um so yeah the airport was quite snazzy compared to the other Greek islands that we've been to um so we stayed at this hotel here the Alexandros um which was really nice it was a little bit of a drive out of the town not very far at all like literally five ten minutes um but it made it meant that we had a pool which is what we really wanted we didn't want to stay well, we'd love to stay in the town, but it was just too expensive to stay in the centre of town um, and have a pool and stuff like that. So um, we stayed a little bit further out so we could have the peace and quiet and the lovely views um, and also the pool. And you just we had the car, so we were fine um, to go out and about. But this was a really cute um, area, I had like a little seating area. This was our room up the top here, which was nice because we had this little balcony. Um, but we did mean we had to trig our suitcases up um, this staircase but um yeah it was really really lovely it's a really nice hotel just been renovated um but our room was obviously really cool because it was like a cave hotel most like all the traditional white stone um so this was our bed and it had like the lights underneath and this was cool this was our shower so it was like carved out for the door um and it was all like painted and stuff so yeah it was really snazzy i really wanted to stay something in somewhere like this um we didn't stay in anything majorly special in Santorini it was still a lovely hotel but it wasn't anything like this and I've always dreamt of staying like a little blue and white stone house um in Mykonos so yeah we did have loads of cats which we love and we became sort of quite known to the cats because we do actually take um, some cat treats with us uh, when we go to the Greek islands because we know there's a load of cats 
Um, so we do actually give them some treats, but we became sort of the resident cat people. We had three of them outside in our balcony. They'll be waiting for us. This one was really croaky and quite <laughs> old. Um, and then this little grey one, he was a bit timid, but the, the little ginger one was so cute. And she kept coming into our room and just sit on the floor, basically. So this was them. So this was I'm trying to get in. Like the minute we opened the door, they're in. And they didn't do anything. They just sat on the floor. So this was her just, the door was open. And she was just sat in the sun. So I thought that was quite cute. But yeah, they're really, really, really lovely. It's always nice to have cats. We like cats, so. Then, as I said, we did have the car. So it's just a picture of our little Fiat 500 that we had, us in the car. And then outside our hotel was this really nice little church. Um, and that's what I love about the Greek islands. There's just like tiny little churches everywhere. Um, and they're just so pretty. So yeah, we rented that. We rented that before we got there for the full time that we were there. Then these are just some maps of the area. So these are actually double-sided. Um, so this was a map of Mykonos town. Um, we were just a little bit further out. Um, and then this was a map of the island in total. So yeah, and as I said, most people go around this sort of area. And yeah, our hotel is just there. So it wasn't far at all to drive to the main town. So we did spend quite a lot of time in Mykonos town. Um, we drove there a few times. We drove, we parked in this really big car park uh, that everyone was just free for all. Basically, everyone was parking anywhere they wanted. Um, but it meant it was only about a five minute drive, uh, five minute walk, sorry, to the, the actual town itself, which was nice. So yeah, we walked along here. Um, loads of really nice boats again more cats and things um but yeah it was um very windy when we went um i knew it was going to be windy because it's known as the windy island in in greece um but I, it, they weren't joking <laughs> it was really windy um i'm surprised we didn't get windburn because we were literally just it was constant it was really relentless um but it was still sunny it was still warm it was just when you're out in the open it was so windy like i had to have my hair up and i couldn't really wear a dress um so yeah it was just very very windy but i took so many pictures of just the really cute streets and obviously the little cobbled streets the blue blue and white and obviously the lovely trees um it was just yeah really really cute there is a resident pelican um so that's why there's a pelican here um because he i think he likes the fish restaurants and stuff but we didn't get to see him we tried so many times to go and find him but he wasn't around um but yeah he is known to the island but um yeah we just had a wander around this is actually a, a bag from a bakery that we went to mykonos is very expensive um to eat drink um in the main town itself is very expensive there is a few obviously cheaper eateries and obviously supermarkets and stuff like that um, and that's what we tended to do but it's very expensive to have cocktails and just go out to eat um also it's very expensive to go sit on the beach it's nearly 100 euros to rent two beds and a and two umbrellas for the day which is insane so um we just didn't do that <laughs> so that's why we had the pool but it was very very pretty it was just nice to wander around um i loved all the little souvenir shops we just took our time and had a you know we tried to go early because there was a lot of cruise ships um i said here like one day we counted four cruise ships in the in the harbor bit so you know that's thousands of people and obviously all these streets are quite small so yeah, we tried to go early before they sort of got on off the ship um but yeah it's just really really pretty lovely little bars and side streets and little art galleries so these are just some pictures of the little buildings and then this big map um, that won't get out but it's a huge map um it's got like a detailed one um of Mykonos town and then i think on the other side it's just yeah a big version of the island so yeah it's nice to have um some maps in i actually have two of these maps but i didn't think the need to put another one in since it's quite chunky anyway um but then we walked up to the individual windmill that sort of overlooks mykonos from the other side um so there's lots of steps to go up it's not too hilly um compared to santorini i felt but um it was still a few steps to get up to the top so this is this individual windmill that sits at the top and it was just really really pretty because obviously you've got this view um, it's higher than the other ones, so you've got a really nice view of the town and obviously the neighbouring islands and the sea. So, yeah, it was really pretty. And again, lots of cats around. So we enjoyed spotting those. Yeah, I just took, I took so many photos. Um, but 
I love the theme that I went for for this album because it's quite sort of, yeah, like whimsical, magical. I just, a lot of people go to Mykonos and stuff for like retreats and it's quite spiritual. So um, yeah, I just went along that lines. And I love the purple. It's nice to use purple. So yeah, some more pictures. This one, I just took this picture of this van, this huge van trying to get through these cobbled streets, which is insane. But um, yeah. As I said, we tried to go early so we could avoid the big crowds. So this is one place that we did eat. We ate twice here, um, which is uh, Sakis Grill House, which is known for its gyros. And they were so good. They were seven euros each, which for gyros is, right, is quite expensive, but for Mykonos it's not. So it was nice to be able to have these as like a lunch alternative. And they're very filling. Um, so we were able to sit outside and um, eat these. And they were so, so nice. Every time we go to Greece, we have to get one. Um, so... Yeah, really, really good. There's just some more pictures of the towns. Um, honestly, I took so many pictures, so many pictures of the buildings. Uh, this postcard I actually sent home, so I won't flip it over, but I've just put um, a little bit of like, decoration underneath. Um, but yeah, we sent this postcard home. Um, and these are some more of the churches. And that's, as I said, that's what I love about Greece. It's just all these little hidden churches around um which was nice and then i finally got to use this sticker because it looked like that this was my favorite one though this was just what well, was in mykonos town but it, not in the center um but it was like this really cool I, i'm not going to try to pronounce this but it's it literally just it was carved out of a rock basically and it's just so cool um and i just love all the white the white is so pretty it's amazing how they keep it all clean so we did go out for one meal. We went to this place, this Pasta Fresca Barkia, um, where they make their own pasta and stuff. And there's like a, this was outside um, their shop and they have just like, they, they home cook all their pasta and stuff like handmade it, hand, hand make their pasta and things. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. So just got a picture of our meal and obviously Joe in the restaurant and their business card. So yeah, it's just a quite expensive island. So take your money with you if you do go because it is it's not cheap um but there is cheaper places to go we you know we managed to stay in budget and stuff so after tea we had a wander around we wanted to stay around for sunset really because we've heard that they were very nice um so this is just when the sun was sort of going down in a bit of a, like a pinkish bluish glow and yeah it just looked really pretty with all the lights um on there again with all the like the windmills in the background and stuff so really really pretty and of course these lovely ginger cats that we saw so and this was sunset and um, we got a few little pictures um you can see the wind um my play suit is like drifting because it was just so windy my hair is obviously going to one side it was just so windy um but our last day wasn't too bad and we just spent that day sort of sunbathing and relaxing really but i love this sticker that i got from a souvenir shop um, but yeah, the sunset was lovely. It's known, Mykonos and Santorini, they're both known for their sunsets. Um, so yeah, it was really, really pretty. More pictures um, of the lovely shops. We had really lovely, so the weather was lovely, like it was blue skies and sunny, but just windy. So it made for really good photos with the contrast of the white and obviously the cobbled floors. Then this was this sort of famous street, um, is also probably the most expensive street, um, Matoyani. Um, and it was just obviously very pretty white and blue um, buildings with a hint of red and pink. But then it had these lovely flowers all along, pink and red flowers along the street. So it was a very picturesque sort of photo area. And um, there's a lot of influencers there obviously taking all their photos and things, which was quite interesting to watch. Um, but yeah, it was also where um, a lot of the expensive shops were. So that's what really threw me about Mykonos was... I understood it was an expensive island, but there's like Dior and Chanel and all these really expensive shops that you just wouldn't imagine on a Greek island. But um, yeah, they, they do cater for um, the rich, basically. So it was um, quite interesting to see. Um, and as I said, it, there's, there was a load of boutique shops, um, all very nice. So yeah, so we just got some nice pictures and I just took a picture of the floor because I love the floor. So we did actually get some ice cream, some gelato, which was really nice. We got, I think I got Kinder Bueno maybe, and gel uh, pistachio. Pistachio ice cream is my favorite. Um, and I never get it in England. I always get it um, 
abroad so it's one of those things I always treat myself to when we go um, and then Little Venice is obviously quite a well-known place of Mykonos town this is another map this is probably what made my album so chunky because they are so so chunky um, these these maps but I wanted them in there um, so yeah there was these signs that sort of point you to Little Venice and obviously this was just a view of the bay So it was very, it's one of the iconic sort of shots of Mykonos is all the blue and red balconies um, along the water. And that's why it's known as like Little Venice, because it's like, a, as in Venice, got the water up against the buildings and stuff. So um, we've got some pictures. We You could walk along, but obviously when the tide's in, um, you know, it blocks off the path. So we didn't walk along there, um, but we walked a little bit. And if you turn one way, you can see these. And if you turn the other, you can see the windmills. Um, so, yeah, it was around sort of this area here. And obviously this is a postcard with the windmills. And I just, I was so amazed at the windmills. Like you always dream about seeing these sort of places. And when you see them, you go, I really love to visit there. And finally we got to see them. Um, and they were really, really cool. So we did actually walk all the way up to the windmills. And it wasn't as busy as I thought. And maybe because there's quite a few of them. And also it's quite a big area. Compared to the busyness of Mykonos town, um, it felt quite nice. Um, to have a bit of space but we did actually get some really good photos like there's no one in this photo which is quite nice um but yeah i loved seeing the windmills from all different angles obviously are very famous some of them were missing like their things that connect them all but um yeah they're all very traditional and just some more pictures someone very kindly took a picture for us um but yeah i was just saying here like we loved mykonos but it wasn't our favourite island because it wasn't very walkable. Like you feel like you need a car if you don't stay in the town. And obviously, as I said, it's quite expensive to eat and drink um, and also to be on the beach and stuff. Like other Greek islands, like I think when we went to Corfu, I think we spent like 20 euros for a sunbed and a umbrella. But here it's like 100 euros and that was cheap. You know, some places were like 250 for a set. So, yeah, it was just um, it sort of put us off a little bit because we don't like to spend all our money on some beds um so yeah but no it was really lovely as i said you can make it work for yourself like if you want to eat out every day then obviously just save up for it but um we can live off um snacks and gyroses basically <laughs> for lunch but yeah and then we did take the car out and went for a, um, a few of the beaches. We didn't stay and sit down. We just had a walk along, but we, that was really nice. Uh, the beach, the beds were empty though. And I'm not surprised because obviously people didn't want to pay that much. Uh, there was like a bit at the end where people were just sat on the sand and we could have done that if we really wanted to, but because of the wind, it put us off a little bit. Like I feel like you need a bit of a windbreaker because um, it is quite annoying after a while to be constantly battered by wind. Um, but we just had a nice wander along the beach how like clear the water was it was insane so i just ripped part of a map up to say that that's where we went so we went to ornos um and yeah just really some nice pictures of the beach and this cool like water duck thing that was swimming and just some more pictures of the beach and another postcard so this place we did eat twice out for tea um again it was a little bit of a drive it was more outside near uh, Anomera, which is about the middle of the island, um, but it was a really, really good place for Greek food. So I think this was our first meal. I had like a, a what's the word, like a gyros platter as such, um, with pita breads and meat and fries and sort of vegetables and things. And then we did try, we did have some saganaki cheese. And then the second time we went there, we actually did like a sharing platter, which was amazing. And obviously we couldn't finish it all, but it had all different types of meats fries, pitters, vegetables, everything. So yeah, it was really, really good food and it was very reasonably priced compared to Mykonos Town. So we did actually eat there twice for tea um, because we had the car, so it was easy enough for us. Um, and it was outside of the, as I said, the main tourist area. So really, really nice that place. Highly recommend that one. And then for our last day, the wind died down. So we thought we'd take advantage of sitting by the pool. Um, we did do in the afternoons, but I said it was quite windy, so we didn't um, there was like a barrier, but if you, if, you know, if you weren't quick enough to get those sunbeds near that barrier, then um, it was quite windy. But the last um, day was really lovely. So we just spent it by the pool, got some nice pictures because we very rarely sit by the pool. Um, we very rarely have a pool at our hotels, in all honesty. A lot of the hotels we 
we don't um because we go on like city breaks and stuff so it was just nice to relax and we read our books and yeah just enjoyed took some pictures in the pool and it's just some more pictures of us at the pool area just enjoying the last day um and then i just put our boarding passes here because there wasn't any picture of us going home so i just included our boarding passes um yeah and they actually gave us proper boarding passes which is quite nice you can really rarely get those um but yeah so that was mick and us so as i said that was the 17th to the 22nd of september um i will be back with another little album um for tinos undecided what sort of theme i'm going to do i don't know whether i'm just going to go for the same sort of theme because obviously they're the same trip um and obviously i did actually use quite a lot of stuff like i've run out of these flowers uh these hearts the geotags um these so i've run out quite a few stuff so i can't use everything that i had but I can still go down the same sort of lines of the colours and stuff. So um, I'll just have to pull out more stuff. But I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll be back shortly. Thank you very much. Bye.